I was hoping for a quick recovery, you know, mm. like I stopped taking it and things would get, get back to normal. All of these effects got, got way worse when I stopped taking the drug. I was working in a, in a school and between the classes, I would go into the toilet and cry and just, and kind of pray. I'm, I'm not religious. <laughs> Inability to cope with stress. But the least, I mean, the least amount of stress, like everyday life stress, stress. That is not really right. stress. If you're like in a, in a square somewhere and, you know, people are moving, people are speaking, people are talking and it's too much, you know, it's just too much. You can't handle it. So you tend to avoid those, those, mm. those places mm. because of this, you know. So, and again, that has an effect yeah. on just because being you, human, right? Like yeah. everyday life, really, you know, like you're, you have to modify your everyday life because of this and all the cognitive issues like focus uh, memory you know, that has got gotten worse uh, after I quit taking finance right now I can read a book first two years right. I couldn't open a book before I would read a novel in right. two days you know just read it and I would right. remember all of it well as, as a know. teacher as well and as someone who loves learning yeah. Was in the first two years, the mm -hmm. horrible muscle pain, just almost every day. It's like if you have somebody that's giving you a good beating, you know, it's just why is this hurting so much? What's, what's happening to mm. my body? You know, mm. extreme head pressure after sex or after uh, you know masturbation, you also get all these cognitive mm -hmm. issues. You feel like out, you just feel like lobotomized. It's a strange feeling, course. isn't it? For the first two years after stop, after I quit taking finasteride, I would, I mean, this, these crashes would last for like two or three wow. days. For two or three days, I would almost be bedridden. Wow. The first doctors, they just told me it was either stress or anxiety disorder. Uh, that's a classic, I think. Like, it's just, Yes, it's stress and it's anxiety or whatever. It's all in your head. And it's not neurological, it's psychological, they say. And that's a big, huge difference. Neurological is not the same as psychological. Mm -hmm. It's There are two different worlds. So, yeah, humiliation and anger, of course, when you're there. Uh, and helplessness. I had to move back to my parents because of what happened. But I mean, I, I moved from Argentina back to Sweden because I couldn't, couldn't be on my own, and I, I wouldn't be able to cook my own food, mm. uh, or go shopping, you know, and stuff like that. They, my family saved my life there. People see you and they say, "Well, well you, you right. seem normal, you know. You're here socializing with me. You're occasionally laughing, even. So there couldn't be anything wrong with you, really." Is it so bad? That's the right. problem, really. You know, as I say, if you have an amput amputated arm, people say, "Whoa, you don't have an arm." <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's serious. You know, you really right. don't have an arm. But if you say my brain isn't functioning, I say, "But it is. You're speaking to me." What I mean on a psychological level, you, you have this regret, you mm -hmm. know, everyday regret that you took the pill. You think about the moment when they prescribe you the pill and so easy to re refuse you know just i don't want it stop but one thing that is hard to deal with the envy you know the envy of seeing people normal people functioning living their normal lives out there you want to go go and tell them just you are you are so lucky this is so beautiful just appreciate it just what you have right now because it's so beautiful people that suffer from this if they feel even the slightest spark of like i can pull up a fight here they should read the information and about this condition and give it a face. You know, we need we need more faces, yeah. definitely. Yeah.